good stuff. That book I'm reading now is really interesting stuff about the what military. Really? And how, like, like civilian and military... There was never... That, that changed in the 19th century. There what? was never a separation between the military and the population. Oh. Like, civilian didn't even mean non-military. Really? Civilian meant, like, you studied law. What? Yeah, like, you knew civil law. Like that person's a like civilian. That. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? And, like, the military wasn't ever regarded the way we regard them now as, like, with so much reverence. It was just like, kind of like, fuck, we got to go. Yeah, the people that were in the military, the militaries were a lot smaller back then. Yeah. In, at least in Western Europe. Mm-hmm. And, like, it was like, you basically just served the king. Mm-hmm. That was it. So you were like a mercenary. Yeah, there wasn't. And it was there like was, thieves, and, and soldiers. There were mostly, there was a lot of armies were compiled of dudes from other countries. Yeah, as I'm saying, so it was like mercenaries, thieves, soldiers, sailors. Yeah, it was. It was just a job. There wasn't this like, this is my country. I'll die for it. How did they fucking trick everyone? Money. They would just pay dudes. There was there were generals that were generals for like six different countries. I'm saying, how do they trick everyone now to be like, I love my country? That's what this book's about. It's about total war. It's about amassing the entire country as a weapon and these apocalyptic wars that are like, this is the war to end all wars. Instead of back in the day when it would be like, this is a war for this small territory. These two kings want it. Wow. We're going to have a gentleman con. Like this, It was part sure. of life. Mil- wars were considered just like a natural part of life. Yeah. Like we fight gallantly, like all this bullshit. Mm-hmm. Now it's like we hate war, but when we do it, it's for, it's to end all wars. Yeah, that is fucking and weird. And like we need to end all war. Like every war, so like Napoleon, they, somebody gave a speech like this is the last war. World War One, they were like, "This is the war to end all wars." What? World War Two, they're like, "Finally, peace." And then, wow, yeah, yeah. The, I'm I'm excited about this. These books I got. That's fucking they're awesome. Fucking sick. They're like Napoleon, dude. I was started to talk about it on the Patreon. Yeah. Ooh, Listen to the Patreon. Sorry, dude. I missed it. Patreon two is sorry. out, dude. Patreon two is in the air. Patreon dude. two is gonna be sick. It's fucking lit. Um, but I was talking to uh, the. I talked a little bit about Napoleon's parents because I don't know anything about Napoleon. True. Knew either. For some reason in our history, we don't talk about he it. He sabered. I know he sabered champagne bottles. I think he invented that. He was wild. But that was part of his his clique did that. But he was... Uh, his dad was a this French dude that was just fucking wild. The stories are fucking sick. What'd he do? He was just out fucking everybody. What? He was even linked to Marie Antoinette. Like, there was a lot Who, of like... Who's that? She was the queen of France. Damn, he fucked her? He was fucking everyone. He had, like, sorcerers. His dad fucked the queen? Allegedly. What? But listen to this story. When his dad met his mom, yeah, Napoleon's parents, they were both married. Uh-huh. Napoleon's mom was some 18-year-old. Napoleon's dad was at war. They met while he was at war. Okay. And they, like, were writing letters back and forth. And then finally she basically said, like, yeah, we can fuck. What? So he went down and fucked her. And her husband, she was 18. This guy was like 40. He was some lawyer, some French lawyer. His letter game was that strong? Yeah. his le- for, Napoleon's dad's letter game was strong. How did he f- so he was like, yo, let me get the-. He's like, but you got an address though? Yeah. And he was and like, she was all like, right. I will succumb to you. And get and fuck. So he went and was fucking her. And then the guy who <sighs> suspected that she wanted to fuck that guy wanted to find <laughs> out if she liked him. He, he wanted to find out if she loved the guy that was cucking her. So he was Wait, like, so he was he was cucking someone. Yeah, he cucked this lawyer, this Napoleon's French lawyer. dad. Napoleon's dad was cucking a French lawyer Fuck. with Napoleon's mom. Fuck his eighteen year old hot mom. Damn. And then he was the the guy came home and was like, I hate to tell you this, but that guy you've been writing to, he's fucking dead. He died in battle. To see if she would like cry, cry. and she was like, Well, I must have brought him back to life because he's in the room over and we just had sex. Damn. And then uh, Napoleon's dad fucked his lawyer up. No, then they might have had a menage a trois. Stop, they had a devil's threesome? Yep. Then God the, then damn, that's that the most came French and, thing I've ever yeah, heard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was like, I am so outraged, I must fuck you Yeah, with then him, him and uh, Napoleon's dad ran a train Wait, on so Napoleon Napoleon's Wait, so Napoleon was basically mom. created by two men, but... Maybe. He might have two daddy. He might have two daddy. What? Yeah, dude. Damn, dude. Yeah. What dude. a sick origin story. Yeah. He was a product of a devil's threesome? Yep. And then I think they split up. After, after the three, the, after they fucked, I think the the mom like found God and started focusing on that, and the dad went back to France and just fucked everyone. Yeah, but and he this was lady also, raised Napoleon. Yeah, and the dad who was like a war hero, or he was like a he was fucking everybody. He yeah. was also like a war hero. He was like the man in battle. Of course, yeah, dude. And he was Napoleon's write letters was and the get, fucking man. So that guy would just like battle, write letters, and someone would be like, all right, you can fuck me, and he would just this guy would 
come across the French countryside as fucking like blue balls. Just like, <laughs> yeah, oh, just... <laughs> oh god, oh my god, I have so much coming. In <laughs> the uh, what was funny was the author of the book was like, and I can't even state enough how much of a he was such a philanderer that by 18th century French aristocracy standards, they were like that guy's a piece of shit. And back Ooh. then they were fucking everybody. What? Yeah. Holy shit, yeah. dude. And it was weird the way that he describes the military. It's like the officers, because they would only fight between like May and October. Sure. So it wasn't a full-time job. Like you would leave the military. And you would fuck. And they would all go fuck and like write poetry and like be artists. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were gay. So that guy would like, I mean, back then too, like if you saw a chick in the woods, that was fair game. Oh, 100%. You could be like... Chick in the woods? Chick, yeah. I mean, that's still fair game. In the French in the French countryside? If you run into a chick while you're at midnight, Helen, Oh, for sure. Around, that's I wouldn't even, I mean, I would, she would just probably go prone, assume dog. She'd be a bitch. You'd have to run. True. If you saw a hot babe in the woods? True. That's a bitch. I'd get bitched. I'm like, wait, yeah. what, what? Everything cool out here? <laughs> yeah. Oh. yeah, dude. That would be awesome. Yeah, I'm excited to report back next week with more Napoleon facts. Dude, I fucking need that. I don't know yeah, anything about the guy. Napoleon, yeah. He was His a, origin story is awesome. Origin story is he got fucking banished at one point. He has like two reigns. He His first reign, he got France? banished to an island. Dude. Then he fucking came back and took power again. What? Yeah, bro. God damn. Yeah, but that was like, the whole book is he about... He fuck a lot too? Napoleon? He had a... I'm sure he did. More of a power boner? He was more of... Yeah, he was like a... That was one thing he said. He was like, "I didn't have, I didn't have friends growing up. All I had were books." He like studied war. Damn. He just became he like that's the books about him like inventing total war. That's and being tight. Like, if you study war, there's definitely an outlet. Like, what do you want to do? Be like wage war? And they're yeah. like, "All right, we can plug you." I'm a psycho. Guys. <laughs> <laughs> like, we got to think. I was for writing that. poems, but all right, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm trying to get pussy and write. What I'm are you trying up to, to wage fucking war? I'm gonna dude. conquer Europe. Like, all right, damn. Let's get you up there. I mean, dude, if you get the right, you know, if you get, get the right channels, you like, all right, army, check. You can just start mobilizing that thing and conquering. It's pretty, yeah. I mean, that's, that's a fun thing to do. Yeah, except then, like I said, I got that Goya book. That was all his drawings from what Napoleon wow. was doing in Spain. Like, the the army was just murdering and a raping. A lot of devil threesomes. A lot of devil rapes, dude. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, and then it, I was looking at it, and it was funny because I read that story about them fucking yeah and i was like this entire tragedy came out of those two fucking like yeah, they had one kid and they created oh my the god fucking devil they literally they did. created the antichrist and he took over most of europe holy fuck yeah pretty wild if only that only if she tore up that letter if only that girl was in such a fucking slut if only that 18 year old wasn't a goddamn slut she didn't need to cheat on that geezer that how many her. people died because she was a fucking because she whored out where, where did she even meet his dad he just breezed through town yeah, he was at war. And back then, war was like... Yeah, you're just kind of bopping just around. go down to a city. Jesus like, We're going to go to war tomorrow. Yeah, I love you. Yep. I fucking Boom. love you, babe. Next thing you know, you give birth to Napoleon. <laughs> Damn, dude. That's yeah. fucking blowing my mind. Wild stuff. God, I'll fucking, show you these fucking... fucking bitch. These Goya drawings. I'm so mad at her, dude. Yeah. It's all her fault. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Let me see them. Yeah, they're fucking, they're hilarious. And like I said, the captions are like, he did not want this. It's like a priest getting cut open. <laughs> it was not good. That's hilarious. 